You know what's really annoying in a van? Having things in large boxes. long ago when the Jackery 240 was the primary Jackery, um, I joked <laughs> that um, basically YouTubers seem to be getting these things like candy, like they just seem to be falling out the sky into the laps of YouTubers. <laughs> um, and then since then they've obviously bought out, they had the Honda one, I forget what the wattage on that is, I'll throw it up on the screen if I remember. Um, that one was only slightly bitter, bigger than like, is it the 240 or the 260? Whatever it is, it'll be up on the screen right now. And um, then the 500 came out, and then after that the 1000 came out, and of course they also had their folding solar panel set. Um, and I was, I was, I guess, too, too, <laughs> not quite high up on the on the YouTube adventurer list um, to sort of make the cut of being asked to review. Um, but not too long ago, in fact, I've had these boxes floating around in my van for a few days now. Um, but not too long ago, during my trip, I got an email. <laughs> <laughs> and so I guess I became uh, one of the people where they were like, hey, here's a cool YouTuber. Cool. Yeah, right. Um, let, let, let's give her a chance to, like, review the Jackery. And the funny thing is, you know, when I was living in my minivan, like, this Jackery would have, like, saved my life because I had, like, such a, a you know, small system. Like, I only got the um the solar panel and the batteries and all that kind of towards the having the end of that minivan like for more than half the time i lived in the minivan um i basically was just like charging things off of the 12 volt while driving and and such like that so <laughs> as fate would have it i have a pretty powerful system in this van now like it's not the biggest system in the world but for van this size it's pretty decent for my low power use it's it, it's amazing um and now there's this jackery so how do i handle like reviewing this in a way that'll be helpful to people who are considering this possibly as their primary system um and so i have an idea for this video all we're going to do is unbox the thing and we're i'm going to give you some opinions as i unbox it as far as like quality i have owned a few power stations and one thing i regret about my early van life is uh cheaping out on power stations that didn't stand the test of time um for for multiple reasons and uh it's really not worth it like uh i really think it's worth it to invest in something that's going to stand the test of time from what i hear about jackery it does that but i've never had one to test and now i do so that's sort of what i want to do but for this video we're just going to open the box and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to spend you know 48 hours with this thing um i might this is what I'm considering. We'll find out if I confirm this in the next video. What I might do is actually hook my fridge up to it and see how well it handles running my fridge as long with all of my additional charging. I'm not going to charge anything else I own, anything else that uses electricity. I'll be doing it from the Jackery in my next video. In this video, I'm just going to unbox it. I'm going to talk about its quality as far as the feel and the build quality compared to power stations that I've owned in the past before the Jackery. Um, and sort of, you know, make that little visual first impression comparison. And then I'm really going to spend the next two days really like having it run almost everything. Now, the only thing is like there's some things that are directly hooked up to my fuse box that it's really hard to impossible to sort of trade off to the Jackery as, as far as it's charging power source. So I'm not going to do that. But we're going to find all kinds of excuses to like charge things off this Jackery and just see how well it does.
about a waste of space. <laughs> Okay, this is getting like those nesting dolls. You know, I would have rather have had this floating around than those other two other layers of boxes. This, this guy got <laughs> But there you go. You got all of Jackery's fancy packaging. You know, get all the specs on the side. Um, so it's the Explorer 1000. Er, it says it's around 22 pounds or 10 kilograms. Um, eh, let's just get it out the box. <laughs> now this is nice. Right at the top here we have our little bag that has all of our power charging cables in it and this is before you even get to the actual jackery cables all right so now the device itself we're almost there we're almost there we got our instruction booklet of course there's a cute little mini jackery sort of like customer service thing in here all right and here comes the actual jackery okay this is big <laughs> this is huge <laughs> It's not comparatively heavy to its size, like, it's, you know, it's pretty decently weighted. Like, I'm not walking down the trail with this. I might not take it to, like, a picnic table that was really far away. I might take it directly out of the van, just due to the size and weight of it, and use it, like, directly outside the van, like, right here. This is about as far as I want to travel with something this big. I'm sure it's different for the smaller units, but I've never owned one of the smaller units. But this is a pretty big <laughs> um, battery. That being said, so even if I'm leaving it in a permanent spot in the van, if I were ever to redesign the van, this is really easy to carry. <laughs> I can easily move this around like if I have it like in one spot and I want to redesign the van it would be very easy to like move this like I could move this with one hand I can barely move the battery in my van with two hands <laughs> and on top of that if you have something like this um, and if I'd been in a situation to get this where I didn't already have a solar system set up the great thing is this is all you need all that ugly wiring that you see on the side of my you know my van that I need to clean up from me like revising the electrical system you don't really have to worry about that when you have something like this like everything is built in um so yeah <laughs> i would in a minute if for some reason i was taken back to zero run a van completely off of this just because it's easy to move around and it provides a lot of power but it's not something you want to move around a lot like this is not my travel power station i would get one of the smaller jackeries or even though I've never owned one, um, one of the smaller jackeries or just something smaller than this. But for something also directly outside of a vehicle, like if you're living out of a, um, an SUV or a pickup truck or even a minivan like I used to, um, having something like this where it's like an all-in-one system, assuming it works perfectly, which I'm sure it does, um, is really great. Also, I like that this has a USB-C connection that Jackery's kind of caught up with technology because um, most of my newer devices use USB-C. I'm not an Apple person. I have a lot of Android devices and Androids pretty much default to USB-C these days. So it's nice to see that included as a default and you don't need like a converter to be able to use a USB-C to USB-C cable um, because that's just becoming more common. And unfortunately, at some point, all technology is gonna like beat itself. <laughs> you know, people try to future proof, but there's always a borderline with future proof. So it's a very modern power station. Like it's prepared to take care of a lot of the modern amenities, which is really, really cool. So I'm really excited to actually kind of put this through its paces. You know, the design is great. Um, I don't know why it needs like <laughs> the giant jackery on top. It's right there on the front, guys. But I don't have a problem with the ba the branding. Um, it's pretty. <laughs> so, like, one thing I can say about, like, my battery setup right now, because of all the cables, like, sort of hooking up, and sort of the spider's web of cables back there, um, 
it's not very pretty this is very pretty like my the inverter is built in you know this is a thousand watt inverter it exactly matches the it, it, at least in numbers it matches the inverter I already have in my van but it's all enclosed in this nice little case and that's basically what you're getting with a Jackery or any power system is you're getting something that's already enclosed in a nice case and literally to hook it up to solar you just hook it there <laughs> you know there's no extra steps except maybe if you wanted to hook this up to roof solar instead of the solar panel that I'm about to open, then you would need to get the right cables to convert it to power that the Jackery understands. That's not the right way to phrase it, but some people know what I'm talking about. to test the Jackery with two panels. I thought I was only getting the one. I really should have pulled out my microphone for this, but <laughs> it's been a day and I would have to dig for it. So hopefully the wind isn't destroying my audio too much. I will do a better job tomorrow with, with any situation where I'm speaking. So here's our Solar Saga 100 panel and they sent me two of them. So I can literally test this thing through all the things it's supposed to be able to do. So let's do it. There's a lot of wind, so I don't want to lose my paperwork. This is just an unboxing, so I'm just gonna go through these. So in this little pouch right here, where you basically have your hookup via what's called, this is called an eight millimeter plug. Um, it is possible to actually buy an eight millimeter to MC4 connector. I don't know if that would allow you to also use the Jackery with your roof panels, but that it would be a way to test it and switch it out. This could just charge your phone on its own which is really really cool it actually has a USB-C connector now that's really exciting I was like okay well what am I gonna do with these panels well the good thing is I could actually just take this panel face it towards the Sun and charge my phone off of this because it has a USB and a USB-C so that's kind of awesome. Like I was like, okay, like I'm not really gonna have use for this since I have 300 watts on my roof, but that can't travel with me. And the cool thing about this is I could just take this with me, um, especially at like a picnic table or like a local park or something. So that's pretty cool. It is rather large. So it's gonna be interesting finding a place to set up two of these. And then on the back, these are your legs. And you have one on each side. There's not much in the actual Jackery package except the solar panel itself. And the cool thing is there's so much room in here, actually this little pouch where your power cable is, that you can actually put other stuff in here actually. Um, so that's actually really cool. I think like, I, I, I actually am into this a little <laughs> I thought I wasn't going to be that impressed by it, but it's really, actually, really cool. Um, it magnetizes to itself, so it takes a little bit for it to shake loose. I'm not sure how well it sets up on the ground, but there you are. Like I said, it is rather large. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty impressed with the build quality on this. 
and also like that my brain is already putting together situations where I could use this where I'm not necessarily dragging the Explorer itself around but I could just take this panel face it towards the sun wherever I am and then have the ability to charge devices with just this and this is actually not that problematic to carry around depending on your situation and what you're trying to charge so that's really interesting I like it <laughs> So based on build quality alone and just what I know about the Jackery having not used it, I definitely would recommend to early van life done to invest in a quality product with good reviews because I wasted so much money. Like if I could have gotten back the money that I spent on things that didn't work, um, a cheap little 50 watt solar panel, a super cheap, almost no-name uh, Chinese solar power station or solar generator, whichever term you want to use. Um, if I could get that money back, I could have invested it in something that was more of quality and more long-lasting. And it's really appealing when you're scrolling through Amazon and you're just trying to make it to cheap out on your power station. But hopefully, hopefully, I haven't tested it yet. That's what we're going to do in the next video. Getting something like the Jackery will provide you more of what you need. And honestly, like I said, if this thing can actually do what it's supposed to do, it can do everything I need to do in that van. Like, I'm almost overpowered for my actual use as a van dweller. Um, so I'm almost 100% completely sure something like this could run the van, but that's sort of the testing we're gonna put it through. If I had something like this permanently set up in my van, cause honestly, I would only permanently set this up. It's not that hard to move, but it's kind of bulky to move. So I would always recommend something smaller if you want something that's gonna be mobile. But for right now, we're thinking about like quality of product and quality of company. So I'm really interested to put this little, this little, not little Jackery through its paces. I mean, it's, it's the biggest Jackery right now, isn't it? So I'm really interested in putting this through its paces, trying everything that it's supposed to be able to do and really try it on a practical level. Cause yes, like we'll like some of the more tech savvy sort of reviewers will put it through its paces to try to max it out. My question isn't about maxing out, because in my perfect world, if I have this, I'm never going to run it down to zero, because then it'll take much longer to get it back up to 100. But if I had to run it down to zero to know that it would be okay and survive something like that is pretty comforting, because like my AGM batteries, it wouldn't survive that as well like I have no problem with AGM batteries I certainly suggest them if you can't quite afford lithium but you can get the whole package right here with the battery your inverter charging ports all in one machine so if you can get something like this and it actually works that would be great but like I said I'm gonna put it through its paces so we'll see how well this thing fares in a day or two with me in the next video